All right, so today we are gonna be running some PC games on our Raspberry Pi 5, so let's get started. Now running PC games or Steam games on Raspberry Pi 5 is possible due to Box 86 or Box 64. Now this doesn't mean that it will play very well or if it's even a good idea to do this because you can just buy a mini PC and probably get a better experience using the mini PC itself. But what I'm showing you today is that the possibility is there and you can actually run Steam on your Raspberry Pi 5 and play some games with it. I'm gonna show you right now is my Raspberry Pi 5 and if I do sudo apt install NeoFetch and I run NeoFetch, it's gonna show you it is running Ubuntu 23.10 Raspberry Pi 5 and it's been up for 39 minutes, it's 1080, it's using GNOME and all this other stuff and I do have the eight gigabyte board. Now, I tried to do this same technique I'm installing Box86 on um, Raspberry Pi OS and it was unsuccessful. So Ubuntu is probably the only way you'll be able to run it for now because there are some libraries in the back end that allows it to run. So I'm not going to even try to figure it out what's going on in Debian that it's not letting it to run but I would recommend just running it on Ubuntu. Now there's a website on XDA which shows you the step-by-step -step process. Now I'm not going to try to imitate this or do anything, you can just copy and paste exactly as it has here because that's exactly the same instructions as I followed. I did not deviate anything from this to change the installation of Steam itself and I followed this to the T and it works. All you have to do is basically copy and paste all the commands that they have and eventually you'll have Box86 and Box64 installed along with Steam which is what you get over here. Now Box86 can also run local Linux games so you don't really have to run Steam if you have games that run natively on Linux or if you have Wine installed you can actually run Wine as well with other games that is not Steam. But yeah this is the website I'll leave a link down in the description below. Again just follow this to the T and you'll get everything working like all these drivers you have to install, a bunch of few uh, stuff and then where to get the Steam installer which is in the same file as Box86. All this stuff is listed down in this description pack below. So I'm gonna, again, link this in the description. But yeah, I am running Raspberry Pi 5, so we're gonna be checking out some games that I was able to get this to run. All right, so this is how Steam looks like. It actually does run pretty well. Slow, but pretty well on the Raspberry Pi. And these are the games that I have installed locally on this machine right now. Not all of them work, but they, some of them do. So I'm gonna be showing the ones that does. Now we're gonna start off with Brotato. So we're gonna hit play. And we're gonna let this start. All right, so here we go. This game actually. resolution so it's running pretty well. I'm gonna cut down some trees. Might get slow when there's more enemies but so far the fan isn't kicking on. It's running pretty good. Oh man I could have leveled up twice. Yeah this is a pretty fun game if you guys ever decide to play it. Uh, it actually has a mobile as well so if you guys are interested they do have this on mobile. Um, that's where I mainly play it. Sometimes I play it on my Steam Deck but mostly I play it on my mobile phone. All right, now we're going to be testing another game called Enter the Gungeon. Now, Dead Cells doesn't work, Deep Rock doesn't work either on this, but Enter the Gungeon does. Now, Enter the Gungeon is a very pixelated game, but still doesn't run as fast as I would like to because I got other games on here that actually runs faster that is more graphic intensive. But let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. Just going to hit Y for quick start. Actually, Q for quick start, I think. Here we go. Now this is definitely a fun game, especially if you have two players to play with this and you have two controllers on one PC. You can play this locally. You can see that there's like a lag, but it does fix itself. I don't remember the keys because I'm so used to playing this on a controller. 
Oh yeah, right click is the roll. Rolling is a huge thing in this game. And you can see how it's laggy, but the graphics is not even like that crazy because it's very pixelated. Oh, there you go. I might be able to get better performance if I full screen this at 720 instead of having a 1080 with a window mode. But I'm just showing you that it is possible to play games on the Raspberry Pi. There are some fine tuning, like I said, you can probably even overclock it just to get better performance. But otherwise, uh, stuff does work, but not everything. Here we go with another very classic game. If you get this off Steam or if you get this uh, generic, you can actually, this is a Linux based game, so you don't actually have to do any uh, Proton or anything just to run this. It does run straight off natively on Linux, so it does run really well. All right, here we go. Uh, we got this game. I'm just gonna hit new game right over here. You get to choose your ship. If you guys never play this game, it's a very fun game. It's actually very hard too, but it's basically a drawn out space game where you get to choose the locations you go and you fight other ships. Um, let me see what I need to do here. I don't remember. So I can go to the store. I'm not going to go to the store, but I'm going to go to the next location. I'm probably going to have to fight somebody or answer some questions. And there you go. Attack the scum guy. And then I actually need somebody to man the weapons. Why is the weapon not working? Oh, there you go. So now I'm waiting for this to charge up. Man, I haven't played this game in such a long time. Oh, there goes my shields. No, then I'll fire. And then I get to choose what I want to fire. So probably O2. I'm gonna let this charge too. I don't even know why I canceled this. I'm waiting for the shields, the burst laser. Okay, there you go. I do, now that I defeated him, I, they surrender. I could actually accept an offer. So yeah, the game basically allows you to get new crew members, you upgrade your ship, you fight bosses, you fight guys like this. You just keep moving down the map as something else follows you and tries to destroy you. But it's a very fun game. Uh, very easy to play, but very hard game in general. But yes, this works perfectly fine in Linux or in Raspberry Pi. Next, I'm going to show a game that actually takes some graphic intensive purposes to play. So it's called Rebel Galaxy. I actually play, I'm playing Rebel Galaxy Outlaw right now, but I have played Rebel Galaxy before. And compared to what we have been playing before, you're going to notice that Rebel Galaxy is much more gra graphic intensive. And there you go. Look at this. This is way more graphic intensive than the previous games that we played, but it actually runs pretty smooth. Now I'm going to hit continue on one of my slave files that I have which I don't even remember where the storyline is up to, but here we go. That's my ship. Look at this. It plays so smooth. And this goes down to like all optimization and even games like this could be played pretty well. See that? Look at that. It shoots bullets. It's all 3D. You got the whole environment. It runs really smooth on Linux itself on OpenGL. Again, all optimization on how games are uh, designed to see how well it could play. But yeah, I could do precision aim like this, try to shoot something. I could accelerate. It's getting me dizzy moving around. Jump into my scanners. But yeah, ultimately games like this <laughs> can be played on Raspberry Pi depending on how well the game is designed or made. And you could tell definitely the difference between this and playing something like Enter the Gungeon where it's lagging on a pixelated game. This works perfectly fine on this type of setting. Look at that. There's like no lag even if it's loading something like that. And there we have it. Now another game that we could take a look at is Space Run. And this one will only run on Proton Experiment. So you can try switching stuff around from Proton uh, 7, Proton 8, or Proton 9 Beta to Proton Experiment to see what will work for you. Some games might get better mileage than others. Like this game only runs on Proton Experiment. Running it on any other version would not run, but it does run. And this is 
weirdly enough has a Linux version, but when it installed, it installed the Windows version. That's why I had an issue with Proton. And here we go, another space game, actually running off the Windows version, but it runs pretty nice. This is all 3D and everything. And I'm able to do what I want. So I'm just gonna play the tutorial in the beginning, which will just show you real quick on how it looks when it's running. And here we go. I could basically put thrusters here and that right there. I need three of these, right? So here, here, and we are ready to go. It's not bad. I mean, it's not 30 frames per second or even 60 frames per second, but it does run and it's running on 3D. Consider it done. This may be as This may be as This is a pretty fun game. I got pretty far with this once before. All you have to do is just basically do a delivery service and attack stuff that comes in. You really can't control the ships, but you can control the, the angles of the guns. And if that's coming from behind me, so I should have just put something behind. It's going to hurt me. But yeah. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. Let's see if I could. Can I afford another gun? Let's see if I could take care of this. Ready for action. Yeah, no, I'm gonna get destroyed. Can I say ouch? Oh, just enough for an engine. Right away. I'm definitely in last place right now compared to the other delivery Roster services. There you have it. This is another game that I play sometimes on on and off because it, it works very well on Linux and it's actually a very simple game to play. And there we have it. Uh, basically running Box 64 and Box 86 running Steam on uh, Raspberry Pi 5 and it runs pretty well. It's actually much faster than Raspberry Pi 4 when I was running the same games on that system. But yeah, it does work. You can play this. You can install Wine as well and install Windows applications if you want to and install native games if you wanted to. But uh, I'm just testing on Steam right now and everything seems to be working. There's, again, your mileage may vary on the game that you're planning to play, but some of the games, if it's not too graphic intensive and if it does support OpenGL, it will most likely work. Anyway, that is it for me. If you guys have any questions about this, hit me up down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.